All right guys, so for this video, I'm showing you how to make a firework mine, which is basically the current version after going through 4th of July and last year, and I'll be doing a full step-by-step -step tutorial. So here it is. Okay, so to start off, here's my mortar, and the way it's made is with two screws to attach a one inch PVC pipe. And then over that, I put a one and a half inch ABS sleeve that rests on the screws and I drill in a small hole there for the visco. Okay, and the next thing you're gonna need is about a four inch piece of visco, and you can just put that right into the hole you made, just like that. Okay, and the next step is to add your lift charge. So we're gonna start by adding 12 grams of granulated black powder, which I have a video on how to make this. And I'll put that up as a card. So. And here I have 12 grams of granulated black powder. The next step is to add your granulated black powder into your tube. Now once you have done that, it's time to pack it down. And what I do is I pack it down until the crunching noise stops. Okay, so now we have the lift inside the firework, and the next thing to add is the effects, which will have crackle balls, which you can get from some consumer fireworks like Fire Crackles, Magic Whip, and you can just take those out. And I have some I already took out and put them in a bag here. And the other effect I'll be adding is flying fish fuse, which you can buy in like a 45 foot roll and then cut it up into three quarter inch to one inch strips. And here's some cut up. So the next thing to do is to add this into the firework. So as I add in the effects, I like to alternate between fuse and crackle balls. And occasionally I'll add in a little bit of black powder just to coat everything and make sure it all ignites. But uh, next summer I'll probably test and I think that might not even be necessary. Okay, and the last step to do is to add your wadding. So what I've done is I've switched over from tissue to aluminum foil. The main reason is that sometimes the tissue will fall down and it's still kind of hot or burning. So to minimize fire risk, we switch to aluminum foil. That way nothing's burning and floating around. And this piece is about 70 or 75 square inches. And what you're gonna do is just kind of wad it up and we kind of make it into a point. Put it in like so. Then you're gonna ram it down with the ramrod. And here you have a fully packed firework mine ready to go. This is a crackle and fuse mine. You could also make star mines where you add stars and those will shoot up, but that's how, you, that's how I make my crackle and fuse mine. And I'll show you the demo. Rolling.
firework mine test. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you have any suggestions or questions. And next time I do this, I'll test to see what happens when I don't dust the effects with black powder. I'm thinking this will take out any residual embers, and it will also obviously take out a whole nother step.